how fusion breakthroughs will lead to clean, renewable energy. Nuclear fusion is viewed by many as the holy grail of clean, renewable energy. Although studied since the 1920s, scientists have yet to overcome technological issues and the economics of this process that promises to deliver energy in the future. Yet in 2025, scientists plan to fire up the first fusion reactor slated to produce more energy than it takes to run it. That will prove the concept of an economically viable alternative contributor to the electric grid. Getting there is a long road. Nuclear engineer Chase Taylor is a senior staff scientist with Idaho National Laboratory, a nuclear research facility. He is hard at work solving some of the problems that will make a commercially viable fusion reactor possible. Converting energy. Power plants generate electricity by converting mechanical power, like the rotation of a turbine, into electrical power. The plants rely on either fossil fuels, nuclear fission, or renewable sources like hydro to turn the turbines. Fission powers today's electricity-producing nuclear reactors. Nuclear fission releases heat energy by splitting atoms. The energy produced by the reaction heats water, which produces steam, to turn turbines and ultimately produce electricity. Fission has many advantages. It provides very reliable, low-emission energy, is long-lasting, and has the lowest annual mortality rate of any energy resource. It is well understood and advanced fission reactor systems can further amplify its benefits in smaller packages with even stronger safety performance than current designs. Fission reactor systems can be dangerous when poorly designed or managed, as events in Chernobyl and Fukushima have shown. Large-scale plants have high initial capital investment and its waste products require very long-term storage if recycling efforts are not used. The fusion process. Fusion, a separate process, is a nuclear reaction where atomic nuclei of low mass fuse to form a heavier nucleus with an accompanying release of energy. It's what powers the sun. A fusion reactor uses hydrogen isotopes, deuterium and tritium, as fuel. Isotopes are variations of a chemical element with different numbers of neutrons in the nucleus. The supply of fusion fuel is virtually unlimited. Scientists can produce tritium during the fusion reaction while in contact with lithium and deuterium can be found in seawater. Although seawater has a small fraction of the element, fusion fills our oceans, giving us virtually limitless fuel supply. Another benefit to fusion is that a fusion reactor cannot have a runaway catastrophic nuclear event like a meltdown. It's not possible, even in the most remote possibility, Taylor said. It's not that it's engineered to be safe, it's just the physics of fusion. Simply, if anything goes wrong, the fusion reactor will stop. That's actually what makes fusion so challenging. But fusion has some drawbacks. Controlling a fusion reaction has proved difficult. The hydrogen bomb is based on an uncontrolled fusion reaction. If the same amount of energy could be released gradually in a controlled manner, fusion could live up to its promise. Fusion also leads to radiation damage on plant systems and some radioactive waste and will also initially have high operating costs. The problem. Fusion uses isotopes in a plasma, a kind of flowing gas that responds to electric fields like the gas in fluorescent lights. A fusion reactor heats that gas to extremely high temperatures and compresses it with magnets but some of the material leaks out and slams into the tungsten armor tiles that line the walls inside of the donut-shaped reactor. A fusion reactor produces neutrons, which can penetrate deep into the walls and create a pathway for the deuterium and tritium to follow. That's an inefficiency in the process and a possible safety issue. We are interested in looking at how much of that deuterium and tritium that should be used as fuel is instead getting stuck in the tungsten tiles and how deeply it is trapped in the tile, Taylor said. 
We hope this video will be interesting for you. Let us know in the comments section below. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon for new interesting videos.